Welcome to Geospatial Intelligence Innovations, the podcast where we explore the cutting-edge advancements, trends, and technologies that are transforming how we understand and interact with the world through geospatial data. In today's episode, we are diving into the world of geospatial intelligence, its impact on industries and the groundbreaking innovations shaping the future. I'm your host, Aybars Östuna, and I'm excited to kick off this journey with you, discussing the importance of geospatial intelligence and how it's evolving with the latest technological advancements, from satellite imagery to artificial intelligence and everything in between, geospatial intelligence is changing the way we think about data and decision making. But before we jump into the topic, let's take a quick moment to reflect on the impact geospatial intelligence has already had on various sectors and where it's headed. This episode is all about understanding the innovations driving this industry and how they are opening doors to new opportunities. Let's get started. What is geospatial intelligence? At its core, geospatial intelligence, often referred to as geoint, is the process of analyzing geographic data and imagery to provide actionable insights. This intelligence is derived from satellites, drones, and other spatial data sources, which are used to create visual representations of geographical locations, patterns, and changes over time. GeoInt is a powerful tool in a wide range of fields, from national security and defense to environmental monitoring and disaster response. Whether it's tracking the movements of adversaries in a conflict zone, assessing the damage from a natural disaster, or mapping urban growth, geospatial intelligence helps provide clarity in a world that's constantly changing. One of the main components of GeoInt is satellite imagery. This technology has been around for decades, but recent advances in satellite technology have completely revolutionized the industry. The ability to capture high-resolution images of Earth from space allows for unprecedented accuracy in mapping and monitoring global trends. But GeoInt isn't just about looking at pictures from space. It's about combining imagery with other data sources to provide deeper insights. For example, it's not enough to know where a flood has occurred. We need to know how deep the water is, how fast it's spreading, and what infrastructure is at risk. By layering geospatial data with environmental, socio-economic, and infrastructure data, analysts can make more informed decisions. Now let's discuss briefly the role of AI and machine learning in GeoInt. Yeah. As we move forward, one of the biggest innovations in the world of geospatial intelligence is the integration of AI and machine learning. These technologies are fundamentally changing how we process, analyze, and interpret geospatial data. For instance, AI can automate the interpretation of satellite imagery. Historically, analyzing satellite images was a labor-intensive task requiring human expertise to identify features and patterns. Today, machine learning algorithms can be trained to recognize objects such as buildings, roads, forests, and even ships automatically. This not only speeds up the process, but also increases the accuracy of the analysis. AI-powered systems can also be used to detect changes over time. Imagine a large wildfire in California or the aftermath of a major earthquake. AI can quickly compare satellite images taken before and after the event and automatically highlight the areas most affected by the disaster. This helps decision makers respond faster and more effectively, directing resources where they are needed most. 
Another exciting development in AI is the use of deep learning techniques for object detection and classification. With deep neural networks, AI systems can analyze geospatial data at a level of detail that was previously unimaginable. This means that analysts can now identify very specific changes in landscapes, urban areas, and even detect illegal activities like deforestation or mining in protected areas. But the role of AI doesn't end there. As AI systems continue to evolve, they cannot only help with the analysis of static geospatial data, but also aid in predictive modeling. With enough historical data, machine learning models can predict future events, such as where floods might occur, how climate change could affect urban areas, or how conflicts may evolve in certain regions. The next big innovation in geospatial intelligence involves satellite constellations and the miniaturization of satellite technology. For many years, large, expensive satellites were the primary method for gathering geospatial data from space. But now, we are entering an era where the thousands of smaller satellites are being launched into orbit, creating what we call satellite constellations. These small, low-cost satellites are changing the game by making geospatial data more accessible to a wider range of industries and organizations. Companies like SpaceX, Planet Labs, and OneWeb are leading the charge in deploying constellations of small satellites that can capture high-resolution images of Earth on a daily or even hourly basis. One of the key advantages of these small satellites is their ability to gather data more frequently and at a much lower cost. In the past, satellite imagery might only be available a few times a year, depending on the location. Now, thanks to these constellations, we can monitor areas much more frequently, providing real-time insights. The miniaturization of satellites also means they can be launched in larger numbers, covering more ground with greater efficiency, and with the cost of launching a satellite dropping significantly. It opens up new possibilities for industries like agriculture, environmental monitoring, and urban planning to tap into this wealth of data. For example, farmers can now use satellite, satellite imagery to track crop health, detect irrigation issues, and assess soil conditions, helping them make more precise and data-driven decisions. Similarly, environmental organizations can use this data to track deforestation, illegal fishing, and other activities that impact ecosystems. One of the most powerful applications of geospatial intelligence is in disaster response and humanitarian aid. When a natural disaster strikes, whether it's a hurricane, earthquake, or wildfire, getting real-time data about the affected area is critical for coordinating relief efforts. Satellite imagery combined with other geospatial data can provide an immediate snapshot of the situation, helping responders assess the scale of the disaster, identify damaged infrastructure, and track the movement of people in need. This kind of intelligence can significantly speed up the response time, potentially saving lives and reducing the impact of the disaster. In the case of hurricanes, for example, satellites can monitor storm development and track its progress in real time. After the storm passes, imagery can be used to assess damage, net flooded areas, and identify the hardest hit locations.
Humanitarian organizations can then use this information to deploy resources efficiently and target aid to where it's needed most. Similarly, during a crisis like the refugee crisis, geospatial intelligence can be used to track migration patterns, identify safe routes, and plan for long-term infrastructure needs in refugee camps. In war zones, GeoInt helps humanitarian organizations navigate complex and often dangerous environments, ensuring that aid reaches those who need it most. The future of geospatial intelligence is incredibly exciting. Innovations in AI, machine learning, and satellite technology are accelerating, and new applications for geospatial data are emerging all the time. One of the most exciting prospects is the growing integration of real-time geospatial data with other data sources, such as social media, weather data, and Internet of Things sensors. This could create a more holistic and dynamic picture of the world, helping businesses, governments, and NGOs make decisions based on not just historical data, but real-time information. Another development to watch is the use of geospatial intelligence for climate change monitoring. As the effects of climate change become more apparent, geospatial data will be crucial for tracking changes in temperature, sea levels, and weather patterns. Satellite-based systems will be instrumental in monitoring these changes at a global scale, enabling researchers and policymakers to respond more effectively. Finally, the increasing involvement of private companies in geospatial intelligence is likely to spur innovation and competition in the sector. With companies like Google, Amazon, and Microsoft investing in geospatial technologies, we can expect even more rapid advancements in data collection, analysis, and visualization. The democratization of geospatial intelligence is creating new opportunities for businesses, governments, and individuals to leverage this powerful tool. And that wraps up our first episode of Geospatial Intelligence Innovations. We have only just scratched the surface of what's possible in this dynamic field, but I hope you now have a better understanding of the groundbreaking technologies and applications that are transforming the way we perceive the world. In future episodes, we'll dive deeper into specific case studies, interview experts, and explore even more innovations in geospatial intelligence. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for listening, and I look forward to seeing you next time.